Hey guys, very good evening to you. Welcome to the video number 277 and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the pivot. Uh, there are some features in the pivot, very nice features and uh, if you're working on the pivots then you should know that because knowing these features actually can make you, uh, you know, can make your reports pretty awesome in terms of uh, giving the information right and also from the uh, presentation perspective you know they look pretty cool so uh, my name is Ajay and uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time we have 277 videos so far including this one uh, on this channel and uh, the channel is dedicated to all those you know who are actually working on the Excel and uh, Excel VBA or MS Access or Access VBA uh, what you need to do is you just need to go to the playlist and uh, you see that on the channel you have the different different playlist I have created for you it has a combination of all the basic advanced and the intermediate level videos so if you are somebody who is willing to learn the Excel from the beginning no problem you can go ahead and start just you know try to find it out the playlist which you actually want to have a look at right so this is the Excel chart and the pivots and as you see that we have already 16 videos on that right so this is a mixture of guys uh, basic and intermediate and advanced videos so if you want to actually uh, if you don't have any idea about the pivots then I would say pause the video right first go ahead and watch the part 1 part 2 and part 3 and then come back because that is going to help you a lot right because in this video I'm not really going to talk about the pivots how to make the pivot we are going to talk about that what are the pivot features and for that you should be very good in the pivot right so let's quickly start with this and uh, so these are the uh, you know things I'm going to talk about today now I have prepared a very small data dummy data but it doesn't really matter because uh, it's not actually about the data right data can be in 10,000 rows data can be you know you can have 200 rows um, or maybe um, uh, 50,000 rows that really is not the concern that thing is that when you work on the pivot you should be able to know its features because pivot actually works the same way whether you have a hundred rows or you have you know 1000 rows or maybe you have 1 million rows that's not the problem right okay so now in this uh, I'm going to cover actually this is the first is that what is the role of the headers headers means these headers actually items sold quantity and date the second thing I'm going to cover the subtotal part how you can uh, you know generate the total repeat the label if you want to repeat the label and the calculated field this is very important guys you should definitely you know learn something good today so let us quickly start with this the, the first thing which I want to tell you is the header rule now in the previous videos uh, let's go to the blank pivot actually now if I go to the insert and uh, this is how we create the pivot right I am again repeating I'm not really going to talk about the pivot from the beginning because we have already uploaded the videos on that so this is how basically you select the pivot guys right now when you select this table as I have selected it which is a1 to d17 and you press ok normally pivot gets formed so it's pretty cool right there's no challenge in that but sometime because of the lack of the knowledge there can be one thing that when you're going to select the pivot table I'm again repeating the same step but this time what I will do insert in the pivot and I go in the sheet 5 instead of selecting the you know this header uh, A to D I selected the header called A to E as you can see here right so E is your new column but the problem with the E is that it is blank there is no header so when you press actually OK you get to see the error the pivot table field is not valid to create a pivot report you must use the data that is organized as a list with the label column so that simply means that blank headers are not allowed guys in the pivot right I hope you understood this, this is very simple not only this sometime you know uh, so this is chances are very less that you will definitely go you know you will go ahead and select the extra column chances are pretty less but maybe your data can have a blank row then what will you do or maybe somebody can even you know give you this data and they have hidden this let's say it's entirely blank right then what will you do because now also if you create the pivot on this you see that we will not be able to create that now according to you you are selecting the data perfect but you just did not you know observe that there is a column C which is hidden and it is actually blank and you keep on you know you keep on googling and you keep on seeing that why this error is coming there is no <laughs> blank header you know so that's the reason I'm telling you this this is very important right but at the same time now one more thing uh, which I want to tell you if your table is let's say I'm just simply going to unhide it let's say I'm gonna write here any header let's say test right now test has no data perfect no problem 
So it will be very interesting to see that whether now if we go ahead and create the insert pivot, will I be able to create the pivot? Well, of course, yes, because of the reason headers cannot be left blank, but the data that really doesn't matter to the pivot. Obviously, if you if you create this data as blank, if you delete everything, what will happen? Pivot will be blank, but as long as the headers are there, everything is going to look neat and clean. So let me undo it and uh, let's just delete this. We don't need this. I just wanted to explain you. So the first part is covered, guys. If you get this kind of an error, always remember that there is some blank header. All right. And remember, I, I remember that when I actually started my career, I was used to work in the X. You know, the pivot was a new thing long time back. I mean, you know, way back in 2002, I think. So this error actually this error irritated me so much right and that point in time you know it was we we were not really so educated about the youtube channel and the google you know you, you we used to actually take the help of our seniors and we used to you know maybe they uh, reach out to the people actually who you know know the excel pretty well so i mean uh, right now if, if you compare it uh, the usage uh, the youtube channel you know how many times you visit you visit the youtube channel for our learnings and you know 10 12 years back oh <laughs> there is a big difference trust me so we are good to have the, all these channels right be it my channel or any other channel that's absolutely fantastic okay now what is the second thing guys subtotal now you see i'm going to create one report let's say uh, let's have the date wise you know the items how many items uh, are sold actually you know are sold wh what is the total revenue we got it from these items and uh, according to the date right so i'm going to simply uh, create the pivot first i will create the simple pivot so i just go to the sorry i have to give the data so i come back to the this sheet and i select this now what we need to do is i'm going to click the items here in the row I have explained this in my previous all videos and um, then what you need is sold it has to be some perfect and then we are going to actually uh, we don't need the quantity that's fine I'm going to simply put the date here all right now this is my table this is how the table look like I can quickly go ahead and instead of the sum of the sold I can just keep it sold okay I can write here sold all right or maybe I can write here revenue whatever you want to call it that's fine okay now once it is done you go to the design and in the design repeal you know the report layout you just click on the show in the tableau form now this is how the tableau form looks like now i wanted to tell you about this uh, total total part this is called the subtotal part right now it's coming in case if you don't see this subtotal let's say if you have this this kind of a pivot and if you want to have the totals on each item then definitely guys you can go ahead and you know you can see that show all subtotals at the bottom of the group so the all the totals will be created so you you can see here that you have the total for the apple you have the total of cucumber and guava you know everything is there right so this is the one of the option which is very useful uh what is the next thing i want to tell you uh repeat the label so sometime what happens you want to actually now it could be uh due to any mis requirement you want the you know you don't need actually these blank spaces you need the item here it should come here as apple again and it should you know we should see here cucumber you know again so guava should also be repeated so what you can do is uh you can simply go instead of using any if condition here you know that's what actually we used to do long time back in excel 2003 uh you have an option here in the design and uh, what you need to do is uh, just go to the report, report layout and say that repeat all item labels item labels means all the labels are going to be repeated so the moment i click on that you see that we have got everything here right so this is a very useful feature just in case if you want to use it you can and then there is a one more thing which i want to tell you that how to insert the blank line as well after every apple total you know if you want to create a blank line just in case if you want to make it you know uh, you make it more presentable I, I would say this is also presentable there's no doubt you know uh, problem with that but it's good to know the option so what you can do guys in the design view go to the blank row and say that insert blank line after each item the moment you do that you know you see that every blank line is automatically going to be inserted right I can so let me undo it and uh, now let me keep the cursor here again I'm going to repeat it I go to the design and I clicked on the blank row but yes this design will be activated only when you have a selection of the pivot right if you select outside the pivot that pivot tool will not come 
so please ensure that you should be on the pivot once you're on the pivot pivot table tool will be highlighted and then you got to click on the design and in the design what you need to do you simply need to do this insert blank line after each item and this is how you know every, after every item there will be a blank line so just in case if you want this is also something you can do so let me just undo it now what is the next thing i want to tell you guys the next thing is that how to calculate the things this is very important now let's say what you want to do exactly is uh, you want to uh, generate a new header okay and the header is that uh, new selling price and the new selling price is what it should be let's say or you can say that uh, you know the total revenue generated let's say because right now we are only using the revenue from the sold item this is you know uh, basically per item but you have sold 11 quantity so ideally you should multiply it with this 40 in order to get the total revenue right but instead of creating this in the pivot you can also create it inside the pivot so you don't have to create any extra header right if you don't create the extra header you can still do that how so this is what exactly i'm going to tell you now what you do is you again go to the select the pivot part and uh, then in the option here called the analyze um, now i am using 2016 guys so that's why i see here analyze you would see here a different tag i really don't remember that but i guess it is layout i believe but pivot table has two tags one is the design and one is the another one just go there and this is the window you know some menu which you will see there's no changes in that so, right so in that what we need to do now is uh, we need to actually create the calculation we need to create a new field item so i click here and i say that calculated field when you click on the calculated field you have a name now name you can give whatever you want so i give that total revenue generated okay this is what i will write total or i would say that revenue total okay now what is the formula you want to do so the, for the formula you need to multiply the you know table item so what i will do is sold multiply by quantity and that's it and then you need to click on the add once you click on that you see that revenue total is added just press ok and there we go guys you see that i'm getting the total also so this is the revenue per quantity you can say or you can write it better i think you should write it um this you know the cost price let's say that would be good but i mean you know i'm not really bothered about the headers uh, that depends what data you're using but i'm just trying to tell you the features now some of the obviously some would come so we can remove the space from it and there we go so in this way you can see that if if i put the you know if if i if i put the quantity here anyone would come to know for example when you right click and you put the quantity here you would get to see that what exactly the pivot is doing so basically they are all getting multiplied right so if you need that you can keep that if you don't need that you can simply remove it so what i'm gonna do is i just keep this cost price and then i'm going to actually remove this quantity right and one more thing uh if, if you're wondering that we, why can't we see the date here i have already explained this basically this is a collapse and the expand option somebody can click on this plus sign and they will get to see the dates right but if they don't then they just need to keep it like this but yes there's a better way of that because every time you can't click on these all the plus signs individually so guys you can go to the anal you know analyze again i'm using the analyze uh, 2016 so here you would get to see expand field and then you know collapse field so when you click on the expand you will have all the dates automatically coming out here right so in this way you can actually uh, use you know all these different options and they are really going to be very helpful to you right so that's it and uh, i have already explained about these all the templates these are the different different templates you can choose any of the template but i don't really like these colors i prefer choosing you know sort of these actually the colors light colors actually right but again it it's a matter of choice right so these are all the things which i actually wanted to cover in this pivot and if you have anything which is troubling in the pivot please let me know about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because if you subscribe then that will give me a push to talk more about the you know excel excel vba access and access vba all right so i'm signing off guys and i'll see you very soon thank you so much for watching